Hi everybody, welcome to our latest video. So today, Michael and I are gonna be doing a quick tour and talking through some of the products that we have in our pet and country showroom. So this store is based in Balamoney in Northern Ireland and like I said, it's part of our pet and country store, but it's the upstairs bit, so this is filled with all of the grooming supplies. It's like a groomer's wonderland up here. Oh, groomer's heaven. <laughs> it's amazing up here. So we're gonna do a quick uh, walk through and talk through some of the products. Michael's gonna tell us some of his favorites as well. So behind us, we have groomers professional shampoos these are the four liter shampoos they do come in smaller sizes but as you can see there are so many different scents here things for different purposes you've got everything so we've got bright white these are for your white and cream coats anything to brighten up that coat and, and it's brilliant shampoo mm -hmm. and also it's very kind to your hands and it works wonders on yeah, the dogs you love that for yeah, the poodles it. and the bichons and love everything it. Then we've got like the more black, which is obviously for the opposite. That's for your darker coated dogs. You've even got ones here that are just scent based. So there's raspberry gloss. Um, we've got citrus shine, lemon fresh. So maybe if you don't want one that's necessarily for a specific thing, such as sensitive coats, dark coats, white coats, you can get ones that just smell amazing. And a lot of sensitive shampoos there as yep. well. So we've got the Ala Wonder. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic shampoo for dogs with skin, skin problems. It mm -hmm. is like an aloe vera shampoo based. It is fantastic. You love and that And also one. the Argan Oil. Unbelievable shampoos that you can get and you know something They're very very kind very kind on the dog's skin and very kind on, on your hands I have no problems with them. I'm mm -hmm. use them all the time I, There's another range I love as well as mm -hmm. the designer dog. Yes, but this stuff here is fantastic And there's something else that I want to talk about while we're here. Yep Mixing bottles There's something you know to me, I use, I use these, yes, and if you see anything in my salon, I just use a pump into, into a wee basin as well. But mm -hmm. if you're starting out, this is the, this is the way to save money. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people get it wrong, right? So you've got all the different dilution rates here. Mm -hmm. And people think because it says 10 to 1 there that you fill the water here is 10 to 1. No, it's wrong. Look at your line, follow your line up. Your line comes to here and that's 10 to 1. Now, I got that confused years ago whenever I started using them. I'm going, oh, that's a 10 to 1 just by looking at it. Mm -hmm. Never really followed the lines and whatever else. The mm -hmm. common sense tells you to follow the lines, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people do get that mistake because they ask me and say, I'm over making, mixing it and putting too much shampoo mm -hmm. in. 10 to 1's here. They do everything for you. And this does it for you. Follow yeah. your line up here is 10 parts water, mm -hmm. one part shampoo. That's mm -hmm. how they work. And if it's 25 to 1 or 30 to 1 or 50 to 1, it's 50 parts water. Just follow your line on the outside of the bottle. Just don't go by this diagram here. Mm -hmm. Make sure you follow the line because you can get confused and you do over mix it and yep. far too much shampoo in there and you're thinking, oh God, there's, you know, I'm wasting a lot of shampoo and mm -hmm. things these things are brilliant. Another really good thing as well, um, which is something that's like a new sort of product that's out is the Eco Mix. I'm not sure you haven't used it, the Grim Professional Eco Mix, but we do have one in the shop, like we can show you We can show on. you, but uh, the one thing I will tell you about the Eco Mix, you have to have a hot and cold inlet yep. for that to work. Yep. It doesn't just work off an electric shower. No. So when you're looking at it, you think, oh my God, brilliant product, yes, mm -hmm. brilliant machine, and it is fantastic unless you've got hot and cold water going into your salon mm -hmm. you don't just use an electric shower then it won't work for you mm -hmm. other than hot and cold water and it'll mix it all for you it and does it is everything fantastic. for you but we'll go over it whenever we get yeah. to that part of this uh, of pet and country yeah the showroom <laughs> so yeah those are fantastic to have and obviously people were asking before so whenever it says 20 to 1 that's 20 parts water one, one part, part shampoo, shampoo rather than the other way around so yeah they're fantastic really good thing to yeah. point out so yeah that's kind of like um the groom professional shampoos that are in the store here as michael was saying we've got loads of other ones we've got designer dog we've got wall but you'll be able to see those all in the catalog it's just that you can come up here and have a wee browse if you're close by massive bike seller uh, with them christie's and getting this from feedback from a lot of people is the Double K shampoos. They are a brilliant shampoo as well. They are fantastic and they're just down the same line as the Groom Professional. Mm -hmm. and they're unbelievable shampoos and they are a massive seller. Mm -hmm. And the biggest seller that you have would be that um, Griminator. Yeah. Unreal shampoo. Yeah, and is. anybody that I know that's grooming all the years that they're grooming and a friend of mine too there in Cookstown, he swears by the stuff. I just use every type of shampoo because they're actually sent out to me to try it. It's for dirty like dogs, and, and isn't it? Dirty dogs. And even Groom Professional have a dirty dog shampoo Where is as well. It? Down there. It is down here, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. It's just as good as the Griminator and you mm. know what? It's a wee bit cheaper as well to, buy, to be able to buy mm -hmm. it. So guys. The whole range. The whole range. There's this everything here. This is a small here. selection. Like literally, there's so many in the catalog. And when you come here, you're, you'll be mind blown because yep. you're like, oh my god, look at the size of this place, yeah. and it is probably one of the best showrooms I've been in for a dog grooming showroom. Yeah. So it is fantastic. It's class. If you ever get the chance, definitely pop up here. Next, though, we are going to move over to the Clones Ear Care. All of the sort of little things that you need for your caring of your dog. 
Okay, so now we are over at the colognes, the ear care, any sort of care that you need for your dog, you will find it at this part here. So we're gonna talk about ear care first. Now, some of the top ear care products that we love are the ear wipes, the ear wash, and the ear powder from Grim Professional. You love these, don't you? Yes, I do. The ear wipes are great for just cleaning out the outside of the ears when you get them in. You've got little mucky ears and you see all that, you know, like this, you know, like scuff on the ears and things like that if you're not don't want to pluck the ears or the ears don't, might not need pluck but they're having wee problems with their ears fantastic stuff mm -hmm. the, the, the wipes are great for just wiping on around the ears and getting on there and cleaning them out if that's all you have to do with them if, if there's no infections or anything or no problems with their ears mm -hmm. then if you're getting dogs with really packed ears with hair ear powder grim professional ear powder put a wee bit of powder and pluck out the hairs as you can see you do not go down under that ear canal and pull everything out because you need a wee bit of protection in there but mm -hmm. the ear powder is fantastic and it's great for giving you grip to pull out that hair mm -hmm. another wee thing i would like to talk about is thornet powder mm -hmm. which is over behind you corey if you could or tori sorry if you could just send it over to me now the thornet powder i've started using this a few years back and i recommend it to all my customers and things this stuff is fantastic it is brilliant um how you use it if you have a dog with ear mites or, or, or ear infections rep rep repetitive ear infections and things what we do with this here is we just pluck out the ears using the ear powder we get a wee bit of Vaseline or a wee bit of moisturizer or anything at all even the ear wipes they damp around the ear put this out on your hand dab it with your finger and put it in outside of the ear canal not down under the canal the outside just dab it round leave mm -hmm. it on and I can guarantee you that them ears will clear up mm -hmm. now I've started about maybe two years ago mm -hmm. using this stuff and since I've started using it I have no problems with my dogs I have nine of them and they do get a lot of ear problems because they're poodles and big dangly ears and spaniels and things mm -hmm. but I've also done it with my customers dogs and they all buy it they all love it you can also get it in a smaller uh, version it's mm -hmm. a, just a wee small bottle this yeah. is a big, bigger bottle obviously but you get a wee small bottle and it's just powder and it, it's you put it in your hand dab it on and that will clear up them ears. it is fantastic mm -hmm. stuff you have to get it in and another wee product as well is the ear wash the ear wash then if you're cleaning out them ears and you're you're clean if, you, if the white doesn't do it for you just drop a wee bit of ear wash under the ear and rub it round and then just dry it out with a cotton ball. Mm -hmm. Not a cotton bud, a cotton ball, because the buds, you don't push anything under no. the ear. Be careful of that. So then next we are going to move on to coat care. So some of Michael's much loved products, I'm sure if you've watched his seminars or webinars or any of the videos we've done, the one product that you love, Michael, Amazing Tricks by Design a Dog. Oh my God, this stuff here is just, it's a no-brainer. And anybody that, if you go to competitions and you and you look at all the, all the other big groomers out there that are doing all the big show dogs and whatever else, they always have a bottle of this on their table. This stuff works wonders. It is fantastic. You don't have to use it just as a detangling spray. You mm -hmm. can use it as a cologne as well. The smell of it is unbelievable. Beautiful. And it, for your for your dogs that you're stripping out, silky dog coats and things like that, they mm -hmm. spray a wee bit over that and it just enhances the colour. It shines the coat, the coat it's looks like a gloss. It, it's really, really mm -hmm. good stuff. And I love it. And it's one of my top recommended products that mm -hmm. I could ever imagine and then anything that you see me doing you'll see me with this it's such a multi-purpose product like you can use it for conditioning detangling literally anything before scissoring you would use it before scissoring wouldn't you You can use it before scissoring as well so if you're a doing brushing. like a poodle or a carry blue or whatever and in, in a competition or you don't have to use it like in your salon every day yes but i do i use it because it's it's lovely stuff and it, it, it is very kind to the coat mm -hmm. and also when you're, when you're scissoring instead of just using a scissoring spray which scissoring sprays do work mm -hmm, and they mm -hmm. are fantastic that's a light but just a light must brush your coat up it will sit in place for you and then you can scissor them legs or scissor that head or whatever it is you're going to use it for it is a fantastic and it's great with the scissors just gliding through it it is brilliant product brilliant and even product. for me like as a pet owner at home like I use it on my dog Charlie before I brush him because you'd never brush on a dry coat so Michael had recommended to me to use this on the coat beforehand so I literally just put a wee light spray on him like I'm not a professional groomer by any means and I use it and then I just brush through the coat with my slicker and his fur after is to die for. Yeah, it is Stunning. fantastic stuff. And you know what? It'll lubricate that coat and keep that coat from breaking. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just between grooms. What I do say to my customers, and I do sell them this as well, is Wonder Coat. Wonder mm -hmm. Coat is exactly the same kind yep. of product. It is fantastic. It's just a wee conditioning spray as well. You get them also in a smaller bottle, which I sell to my customers. And I tell them if it's poodles and bichons and things that we're keeping them in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a breed standard trim, or if we're keeping them longer coat or whatever it is, teddy bear trim or whatever it is we're doing with it. 
Before you brush your coat at home, use this. Mm -hmm. Spray it over the dog, it'll do it no harm. It doesn't leave a residue, it doesn't leave a bulb build up of product in the thing. Brush through your coat and that'll lubricate the coat and stop the coat from breaking while you're brushing it. Dry brushing can damage the coat. With this stuff, you'll have no problems. So moving on then from your coat care, in terms of you were talking about shows and everything like that, now we're going to talk about coat styling. So one of the products that Michael loves, and this is a new love of yours, is the Eye Groom Eye Control Spray. Now, with the Eye Groom Eye Control Spray, what I do with this is your Bichon heads, your poodle top knots, anything at all that you need that hair to stand that is a very whispery coat or if it's if it's broken coat or whatever damage is whatever done if you're in a competition or whatever you're doing even Wesley heads oh my god this stuff is brilliant right it's a I hairspray, control it? it's just a hairspray but it has three levels it has a low medium and high and that that is the the, the pressure of the spray coming out mm -hmm. I normally use it on a low because sometimes you get a hairspray and far too much comes out you yep. put far too much on the coat and then the coat just lies flat keep it on your low setting there's three settings at the top you just of this twist it. you just twist it mm -hmm. to your medium and then your high but I always keep it on me low light must over the dog it's not sticky it's great and it just dries that coat under that coat and keeps that coat sitting perfect for mm -hmm. you I love this stuff I don't know how long it's on the market for because apparently that the, they don't yeah. have it that so long. So grab it now whenever you there's can. There's plenty here. If you do need it, try it. Get a bottle yep. because God knows if it's going to be here next year. <laughs> I know. But no, that's one of definitely your favourite styling products. Is there it any is. other products behind me that you can see that's your favourite styling as well? Well, the eye groom eye control and the eye groom product itself is a very good product for show people, show dogs, things like that. Anything at all that you're going to do with styling. It is a brilliant product for that. And then that. your colognes are good for that too. Colognes as well for just giving out that wee freshness a lot of people love baby fresh because I've been grooming for all them years and I've been using it for years I've went away from it because it's just something that it's just like baby powder mm -hmm. it's the same smell my favorite would be the prince and the princess colognes oh my god they're lovely I wear them myself I actually do whenever I'm a wee bit prince sweaty and beautiful. prince and princess is actually lovely colognes and I just mm -hmm. give myself a wee quick spray whenever I'm in the salon <laughs> just in case I'm a wee bit sweaty or it's too warm <laughs> or we're stressed out yeah. but I'm telling you guys these stuff are lovely just for your wee colognes, and there's a wide range of colognes here. Yeah, there's just, loads. Just whatever your nose likes, is what I say. They're so good for this in between baths, favorite. especially if you're maybe someone that doesn't bath your dog at home. They're a really great way just to freshen up the dog's coat in between grooming, or if you're at a show and you just want that really beautiful scent. Smell. Really, really good for that. And for the likes of me, as a pet owner at home, I use them on my dog in between grooms too. Like, he's out in the field all the time, and I don't want to have to keep washing him um, like once or twice a week, so I just give him a wee spray of prints, and he smells amazing. Everyone comments on how good he smells. Yeah, I smell that it is beautiful. It's lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely stuff. Okay, so now we have moved on from the care aspect of the coats and we are now onto the brushes and tools. As you can see behind us, there's a massive array of brushes and tools in store. So Michael, tell us about your favourite brushes. I know the answer to this already, but maybe Well everybody knows done. this now by this stage because of all the videos we're doing today. Yeah. It is the amplifiers, they are fantastic. They are the black in the inside, and I keep saying this is your firm brush. Mm -hmm. And that goes for any of this range. Should it be amplifier or normal? Mm -hmm. And then the grey and the inside is your soft mm -hmm. finishing brush. So for detangling and things, you would use your uh, firm slicker, and then for your soft slicker, you would use this here then to finish off the coat, doing your Bichon heads and your poodle heads and making it nice and. That's really for fluffing, say. isn't it? Fluffing and then up, the slickers yeah. for the actual brushing of the coat. So both work the same mm -hmm. but only this one's for finishing this one's for just getting through that coat and detangling and mm -hmm. use and when you're fluff drying and finishing drying or whatever it is you call it that's what these are for okay. now i do love these little short teeth brush as well mm -hmm. they're exactly the same grim professional they're brilliant as well for doing like the likes of carry blues and things like that they work they all work the same but for me to get right under the root of that coat if you have long coat when you have a big fluffy coat these are fantastic but these work on every single coat that you can imagine mm -hmm. and you know something for as i say and everybody knows this about me affordability you're running the salon you're not running this you have to have these brushes that cost a fortune mm -hmm. and things like that they last mm -hmm. you can bounce them off the floor and they'll not break mm -hmm. they'll last you forever and ever i think i've got one for about eight years now these not the amplifiers but these smaller ones and you know they're fantastic and they're affordable and that's me you know me that's keep it keep thing. it simple keep the, keep the price down and bring a revenue in that's mm -hmm. me and this stuff is fantastic spectrum combs you've Your got favorites. the 50s 50 50 50 50 which 50 50 means you've got 50 parts uh close teeth and the 50 part wide and then you've got the 80 20 so you get the 20 part close close and then the 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 
the 80 side wide. Mm -hmm. Any of, these brush, any of these combs are fantastic, they've all come in different colours, you've mm -hmm. got large, medium, small, whatever it is you use, they all work the same. Then you've got the full wide to tooth comb. Mm -hmm. This for me, as you know, Bichon heads, poodle heads, things like that, even going down the legs, they do catch the knots and they do pull out the wee tats and all and they are fantastic and they've mm -hmm. got good long, long teeth on them to get right under that coat. I love them in my salon, that's what we use and that's what we have. I love all the different colours Oh, well. they're lovely, they're, they're lovely brush. And then another sort of tool that we love is the Coat Kings or any of the sort of Coat Rex style things Any of those well. things for your undercoats and anything like that, they're fantastic. You've got the Coat shed Rex, stoppers. you've got Shed Stoppers. Shed Stoppers, are, they're just another, they're like a wee fine tooth uh, and you just pull it over the coats and that'll take all that de shedding out of the coats. Mm -hmm. They're fantastic. Great tool. They are a great tool. Now your hand strapping tools down here, you all see whenever I'm doing my hand strapping and things, and anybody that's ever come to me for classes or anything. This is the fine tooth and this is the coarse blue and red. Now there's there's these knives out there and different brands and different products. To me they're all the same. And this, very affordable, very and that I would use that everyday grooming. Mm-hmm. Competition grooming, you name it for all my wired hair dogs. They are fantastic wee knives and they're a great grip and great feeling on your hand when mm -hmm. you're pulling and you don't you don't actually have to pull too hard whenever you're using them. Mm -hmm. And it saves you from having pains in your shoulders and your hands. A lot of people run away from hand strapping thinking, oh my god, I can't do that, it's too much hard work. It's not if we've got the right tools. Then we've got nail clippers as well. Yeah, well are we are we grim professional actually these are in my student packs, they're fantastic and you know what? They'll do exactly what they say. They'll do nail clipper. They've got wee really guide. sharp. They've got a guide, a stop guide on the other side of them here. And that's just for new groomers out there, they're not too confident with nails. Mm -hmm. So that you don't push the nail in too far and take off too much and cut onto that quick. This will help you along your line. They're a fantastic wee pair of scissors for the nails. So these tick removers, fantastic. I'm going to open this toy, that's right? Okay, yeah. How they work, they're just a little hook. They actually look like me, one of those, you know when you got a needle and thread and you were trying to get the thread under mm -hmm. the needle, stick it on there and pull the thread through. But this, you just lie flat in the coat and just slightly glide it back. They're fantastic. And just pull out that tick without leaving any, any of the legs or the, the head or the teeth or anything mm -hmm. on the dog and cause them wee cysts. That'll take the whole thing out and they're fantastic wee thing to have. And so salon. affordable again. And even for, even for home grooming, you know, even to look after you if you're out walking on the beach and you find a wee tick on your dog. Use those. They're very safe. You can't, do, you can't go wrong with them. And the whole, like the whole grown professional range, is so affordable, like you say, and they are built to last. That's why I always go for it, and that's why I always say to my students, you know, go for that. They built to last. They last you forever. There's another thing that people for de shedding and things like that, which I've been using for years and years and years, and it's an old, old remedy. Mm -hmm. It's an old trick. Years ago, we, they used to use like a hacksaw blade and do this here, right? We have this here, and this is fantastic. If you can get it out, Tori. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant tool. I've been using them for years and they do work. Now, what you do is you just brush over the dog. Years ago, it was like a wee hacksaw blade. These are sort of the same kind of thing, but they do open. Yep. And there's new now. And you can just run it down the legs and things like that if you're just wanting to lean a wee bit heavier. Now, you've got a coarse side and a fine side. Always use your fine side first. Mm -hmm. Just push them back together. If I can get it together. There we go. Not there sure. we go. Push it back together, use your fine side first, brush down over the dog's coat and then use this here and then go on to then your de-shedding tool there, this wee one here that shed we showed stopper. you before, the shed stopper. This will loosen all the hair from the root out and then you just, it'll, you'll see it literally falling off. It is fantastic mm -hmm. wee, wee product and it's called a shedding hook, is that right? Yep, shedding blade. Shedding blade. It's just like a hacksaw blade from years ago, but it's a lot safer. It's not as sharp. <laughs> okay, so now we have finished with tools and we are on to the blaster section. So as you can see behind us, we've got a wall of blasters here. Um, it's really good if you do come into the shop. You can plug them in, you can listen to them, you can feel them, you can feel the power behind them. But Michael's going to talk us through a few of them of his favourites and why he likes them. Right guys, so me, for me and my salon, love the Mega Blaster. This is the colour I have actually because I have all purples and pinks in my salon. It's just the way I like my colours. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they come in a couple of different colours. They are fantastic. They're blasting out that coat and they will cut your drying time down by half. Definitely, I, I can guarantee you that. Mm -hmm. Another w thing about them as well is that they don't have any brushes on them. I have one about 
seven years mm -hmm. and I've never had to do anything low with maintenance. it. Low maintenance. Low maintenance. They will last. They're built to last. They're a workhorse and they will last you for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. I have one seven years and it's never been returned to anybody to Brilliant. get any kind of service and done. They're fantastic. Mm -hmm. Love them. The power of them is unbelievable. Very noisy if, but uh, when you're using certain nozzles on them. What I will say is always when you're using them, ear defenders guys, because you will get tennis ear in years to come and it's a ringing in your ear when you get older that it can drive you insane. But just be careful, always wear ear defenders mm -hmm. when you're using them. Absolutely. While high velocity. And if you've got a dog on there that has a problem with sensitivity and ears and noise and things like that, you've always got those little snood and little happy hood, hoods. Happy hoods. Mm -hmm. They're brilliant for, for just drowning out that sound. Just fold your ears down, put it on, and it'll stop the sound. It'll not take it away, obviously, but mm -hmm. it'll, it'll reduce it by up to three quarters of it. It is fantastic they're stuff. So, they're a really compact Very size compact. Too. You can just sit them in under your table or beside your bath or on the wall. Like the way we wall brackets here. are fantastic for them. And the, the, the hose on them is really, really long and they'll go around your salon. Like I have one beside two baths mm -hmm. in my salon and it works on both sides. Also, another one that is just exactly the same, built the same, but it's just a different uh, brand is the Meteor Blaster, the, the Meteor Master Blaster. Mm -hmm. Comes on wheels, you can pull it around the thing because they can be a wee bit heavy when you're carrying them about. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like a jet engine. Yeah. There's two motors on them. There's the motor here first, the first motor, this first button runs the front motor. If you're doing a low blasting, always use your front motor, or your front motor first. Never try and turn on this one at the back and try and blow that air through that motor when that motor's not going on because it, it doesn't give you the same effect. Okay. They are, the two of them are just equally as good. Now, um, a lot of people love the double K blaster. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just not powerful enough, but I do love it as a brilliant blaster and it's not as noisy It has a good B blaster, but for, for me, for the salon, speeding up your time, These things two like that. Favorites. These two. And they do, they come with a fish nozzle. So you know what, there's a, there's a round nozzle, that's your power. And then you've got the fish tail nozzle, which is your flat nozzle, mm -hmm. and that's less power, but also brilliant for uh, blasting out those wool coated dogs. Mm -hmm. And it won't um, damage the coat because it's separate in the hair and it's got a better flow. And it's not just going penetrating on the one wee part with mm -hmm. the round nozzle. The round nozzle just get the excess water off. And then I always use my flat nozzle. And when you're using your flat nozzle, you don't really need to use the air defenders because it's not that noisy mm -hmm. and it's great for straightening out the coats. Perfect. Three brilliant blasters that I recommend as well as them three blasters. Mega Blaster, the Master Blaster, and the Double K Blaster. And they're very durable. Like as I say, seven years that's going in my salon. And the Mega, the, the Master Blaster goes about the two of them around about the same time. Mm -hmm. And they last, there's no brushes on them. So therefore you don't really need much um, maintenance with them. Mm -hmm. It's just turn it on, turn it off. They do last. And when it comes to brushes and things, as you know yourself, when you slow something down, that's putting on the bricks. Once them brushes wear out, that can damage the motor. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you can afford these kind of things, yes, they're the top range. Mm -hmm. they, they are a bit you know, pricey whenever you mm -hmm. think about it, but they will Our last investment. you a lot longer. Yeah. They will last you forever. Anything without a motor. Now we don't have the, the we're going to, um, there's another few blasters that I want to talk about as well. We, we're going to talk about a combination blaster mm -hmm. and ones that I've used for years, which are brilliant as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move over to the combination and yep. finishing blasters very shortly. But for me, these three are fantastic. Okay, so now we have moved on to the final part of this video, which is the blasters and dryers. These are combination. So we've covered blasters before. Michael's told us his favorite ones, and now you're gonna tell us about these. These are your three favorites you picked out before we came over, so tell us about them. Right, so the reason why I've picked these out is because affordability guys so when you're buying a blaster and you're buying a dryer these are for new groomers and people starting up in their new salons mm -hmm. and things like that yes there's a lot of people out there buy them and they're grooming a lot of years yes that's fine i used them for years this is a newer one the luxar 2000 mm -hmm. it is a blaster dryer it's a combination dryer combination dryer means you've got the two in one mm -hmm. you don't need a finishing dryer you can just have these as in your salon. They will last you uh, years and years, but you will have to get them serviced a lot because they've, they've got mechanisms like heaters and they've got a mechanism and the brushes and things they get. So when you go down those kind of lines with products like this or, or blasters and dryers like this, then you, you, you've got to service them. So you've got, you, you don't just take it for granted that it's going to work for years and things like that. Not like the Master Blaster or the, 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 the Mega, me, Blast. Me, Mega Blaster. They don't have any heating elements or anything on them, so they will last for years and years. It's the power of the motor that heats those, where this, there's heaters yeah. and there's brushes mm -hmm. and there's things to control them. Now, the two of them are right beside one another. The reason why I want to talk about them is because they're affordable. 
This comes exactly with this arm as well. Mm -hmm. This is the I Blow 1600 or mm -hmm. whatever it is. I can't remember. I Blue I 600. Blue I 600. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I said it around the wrong way. <laughs> I used to use these for years in my salon, and all my students that are starting out and whatever else, they would go for these because I do recommend these. are brilliant. They're very powerful, and, got and they both. come they come with the both speeds. So you've got two motors, and obviously your speed and your heat. All right, and then you've got like an anti-static button on them as well that stops the hair from getting too much static on it. It's like just like a wee control. This is your finishing dryer when it's like this, and then it comes also with one of these, your blaster thing. So whenever you're doing your finishing dryer, obviously you'll turn it down a wee bit to control the heat and the speed, and that'll do for finishing off your coats. When mm -hmm. you're blasting the coats, turn it up full blast, and use your nozzle mm -hmm. and blast out that coat. They mm -hmm. are fantastic for what they do and they will last you a good while now. They, they are, they come with a stand, everything, and also affordability, guys. Yep. When you're starting up, brilliant. You don't have, just because you go to groom school and they have double K blasters and double K dryers or whatever it is they have, mega blasters or whatever, I go for normally in the finishing dryer is the double K finishing dryer. We mm -hmm. don't have one here that I can show you, but mm -hmm. they are fantastic. There are no brushes in them either. Mm -hmm. There is a heater on them. They will need serviced after a while, but I know people choosing them 15 years. Mm -hmm. Nothing ever wrong with them. Nothing mm -hmm. ever breaks down. They are a wee bit more expensive, but they last. Yeah, you get what you pay for. Piece. You get what you pay for, as I say, in life. And when you're buying these kind of products, Spend don't just go, a wee bit more. just don't go for the one that's that cheaper on Amazon or eBay or whatever. Yeah. Find something that, you know, even get recommendations from people. Mm -hmm. These two are fantastic for a combination dryer. That's mm -hmm. my go-to if I was going to start up a new business. And then this one here, tell That's us about finishing this. finishing dryer. Okay. So you can't change this. Obviously you can't this change this. This is just for finishing your coat. So what, whenever, whenever I say blaster, so your blaster is, you put this on this and it's a blaster, same as a mega blaster and things like that. That will not do that, right? So don't get confused with what you're doing. This will only finish the draw the dog, like a hair dryer, a hand dryer, whatever, but more powerful. And it also has a heat, heat, heat element, so you can just do as much heat as you like or less heat, heat as you want. And then it has a bit of a speed on it as well. These are brilliant, brilliant, brilliant wee finishing dryers. All the rest of this range along here is finishing dryers. Mm -hmm. But these ones are a combination and you, you need two. You, you can't just have a blaster and blast the dog different blast start to finish and then think that's grand and we'll groom the dog it'll not work like that because once you've done that you still have wee tangles in that coat mm -hmm. you need to then get the finishing dryer out separate that whole coat and then brush through it and get all that coat completely tangle free, free and every hair separated so that you can cut it and get a better finish and that's why there's two different dryers. You need dryers. the two for the two different purposes so yeah. yeah. That's why it's good having the both in one, like a combi, like you say for starting out for affordability you're getting the both in one but then probably as you progress in your career you could use a combi as a backup and then have your main finishing and your main blaster then as two separates because probably the more dogs you, know you do. You know yourself when you're opening a business tour yeah. it's not easy. No. Very difficult and going to groom school and paying all that money out Learning how to do uh, grooming, how, learning to be a level three groomer, or whatever it is they teach you, level two, or whatever it is they teach you, and then you're going to go out and you're going to, unless you've got loads of money in the bank, it's going to be very, very difficult to set up. And you know, at, that's why we've at, got our groomer starter kit. You say exactly because you do get a, a discount off that. So if you are starting out, again, there's a whole other video that I've done on that um, for groomer starter kits. But if you do get the kit, like we we do try and help you as best as we can because we want you to be set out really well. We want you to have really good products for starting your business. Um, so we do offer a discount if you go for the Groomer Starter Kit, so you do. So give our, t give our sales team a call, like they're more than happy to help and give the best advice that they can for the likes of that. And always say to them, look, it's budget with me. Mm -hmm. If you can't afford the, the two dryers or the, the two clippers or the best clipper or this, that, the other, them guys, them guys there, Christie's, they know everything. I don't know it all. I only know bits and pieces of what I would recommend, but them guys there, they're well tuned up and they know exactly what will work for you. So and we would always say, room. like, work with what you can afford. Like, yeah, exactly. don't put yourself out over the heads of it. Whenever you're starting out, work with what you can afford until you get to a place that you're maybe making a little bit more money and then you can start and upgrade your pieces after that. Okay, so I really hope that that was enjoyable. It was nice getting a little walk around our pet and country store and having Michael especially on the video. Um, I love working with you in the videos, Michael. So we have Likewise, such a great Tori, time. Behind all this, you know, seriousness and talking product and all, you want to see the laugh we have on uh, here. It's a bit crazy, you but it's a bit of fun. Bloopers, but yeah, I really we'll not do the bloopers. We might do that for a Christmas special <laughs> for a bit of crack. And <laughs> so yeah, we really hope that you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And that's us all from today. Bye. Bye.